So I want to start by, um, and I want to put this in context, it's something I think is really cool um, and that relates to anatomy and physiology. So if you think about the human body, all the cell types that you have that you can't see, of course, but you can see your various parts that you have. They all look different. It's amazing what different body parts can come from a single fertilized egg that we've developed from. Um, here's an example of a few different cell types, right, that actually these are tissue types um, that contain different cells. So liver, tissue, bone is composed of bone cells, um, lung, brain, these are all really different cells. So the question that I want to start with is since all cells in your body are genetically identical, with a few exceptions, that means the DNA is the same in each of your cells. Um, in this image here, you can see a sperm fertilizing an egg. That is how you start. And then you develop from there, from a single cell that as it divides, mitosis, right, um, stays genetically identical besides some mutations that occur along the way and some other exceptions. With a few exceptions, these nerve cells, um, the fibroblast and your connective tissue, your bone, osteocytes, um, muscle cells, myocytes, epithelial cells, adipocytes, all have the same DNA. How are they so different? They look different, they function different. That function, right, structure determines function, is really important for how our body works then. Um, so I think it's a really nice place to start. We're talking about cells in terms of why we care about not only what cells do in terms of the organelles, but also um, just how they're different. So this is called cell specialization. Um, and the answer is that they're differentiating differently. So cell differentiation is the idea that um, after this egg is fertilized by a sperm, mitosis occurs, cell division, and then these cells start to differentiate. This is a developmental process that you can learn a lot more from, from Dr. Sisson on the nuances and molecular events of this process. Um, what's important for this class is to know that it happens. So you're gonna have some cells that go this way and become epithelial tissue, some cells that go this way and become connective tissue, um, some cells can become myocytes, and some are gonna become neural tissue. These are our four tissue types we'll talk about next week. And this occurs during development due to different genes being expressed in one cell versus the other. So I want to start this, that is the framework for how we're going to go through reviewing in order to talk about how this works. So I want to actually answer this question a little bit. How are your cells so different? If all, um, I want to answer a little more detail than tell, I'm going to walk through this process of um, remind you of how DNA is made into, ultimately copied into protein, codes for protein in order to create these different cells that are specialized. So in that, I want to review biomolecules, um, a little bit of cell structure, and um, let me just make sure, and a little bit about gene expression. So the actual going from DNA to RNA to protein. Um, so that will be what this set of videos is on.